Okay, in this video I'd like to just give you a quick sample of how you can uh, create your own brushes um, as far as the brushes that I've mainly used in throughout the training courses that I teach. Um, here's just the three brushes that I use in Painter and if you're having a problem with uh, loading the, these brushes that I give you, um, you can actually do this yourself. Uh, they're just real basic brushes in uh, Coral Painter, but I'll just use this as a reference. What you'll want to do is just uh, go right to the airbrush tool right at the top here and if you click on it and then if you right click on the the canvas here you'll see digital airbrush um, and you'll you see a long list of all these other brushes that you can try out but the digital airbrush is the one that I use if you click on that and then make sure that's active you can see it's active right here and also you'll see the variants right in here as well so you'll see digital airbrush if you just make sure that's selected and then when you grab this and then drag it out into your canvas it's going to make a new custom palette for you then you can see over here I also have this Just Add Water, the uh, blender brush. So when I go in here and, and to the blenders and click on the blender, so if you go to the variants over here, whoops, I'm sorry, right here, or if you right click in your document here, because you have that brush selected, you'll see that I have this Just Add Water selected. So you can uh, use any of these, but the one that I use is Just Add Water, and then once you have that selected, you'll see it says it here. Just grab that brush and add it to your new uh, palette here. And then also, I just use the eraser. <clears throat> so I don't have to worry about flipping my pen over uh, when I go to erase. And you'll see erasers right here. And then when you right click, it's just the uh, one that says eraser as well. You'll see a lot more other options here too. But if you just click on eraser and you'll see it here. Make sure that it's here in the window and you just drag it into your new palette and here's the brushes that I use. So you can create these on your own and if you want to save this or name it you'll go to window um, where is that at? Custom Palette and then go to Organizer and you can see Custom 6 is right here so if I click on that you can click Rename and just call it My Brushes and click OK and there it is and you can see it's named right up here and you can also click done or if we go to export you can name it or export it to your whoops if I click it you can save it right to your your desktop then let's say my brushes and if we click save click done now when I go to my uh, desktop you'll see it right here so that's how you go ahead and make your own brushes and export them